A little more than a decade ago, it was one of the most polluted places in the country. Britannia Creek, just north of Vancouver, was hopelessly contaminated by runoff from the closed Britannia mine. The section of how sound the stream fed into was devoid of any life. It took years of legal wrangling, but a water treatment plant was finally fired up in 2005. And as Robin Stickley reports, the recovery of the local ecosystem has been so remarkable, they're using words like miracle. A decade ago, Britannia Creek was number one on the list of toxic rivers in the country. In fact, experts dubbed it an ecological crime scene. This is footage shot 20 years ago. The rocks are red, stained by the sulfuric acid runoff from the Britannia mine that closed in 1974. And this is the creek today. For the first time in a decade, it is life-sustaining. Five years ago, I never would have believed we're doing this story. Uh, it's, uh, but it's so wonderful to see, and it shows that nature can be resilient if you give it a chance. It's been almost 100 years since pink salmon have been spotted in Britannia Creek. Mark Angelo was one of many voices that demanded a treatment plant to right the wrong. That happened in 2005, and just six years later, an unbelievable turnaround. Once the treatment plant came online, you know, very quickly I started to see insects in the creek again. I started to see plant life. We started to see resident trout. And this year, we actually have pink salmon that have come back into the creek. And that's something several years ago nobody would have believed was possible. About 100 pinks have been counted spawning in the river so far this season, and other species are also starting to return. It is incredible news for the river, but also for the entire House Sound area. Again, here's footage 20 years ago. It's a red ring around the collar on the rocks where the river flows into House Sound. But take a look at today. Life is returning. We've seen huge changes. We're seeing life coming back. We're now seeing herring coming back in larger numbers. We're seeing the dolphins returning. We're seeing killer whales and other whales coming up for the first time in years. With Rivers Day celebrations coming up later this month, the story of a creek that used to top the endangered list and is now coming off that list is reason to celebrate indeed. I think what's happening here really is a sign of hope, and it has such symbolic significance. And it, it really highlights the fact that if the right steps are taken, we can, in fact, turn things around. So I really believe we can never give up on any river, and I think Britannia Creek is certainly proof of that.